off your here command that says start. Come down, it has to pause, release 1001. Press it back up, you hear another command that says rack. Anybody got questions about that so far? My feet have to stay flat on the floor, my butt, my shoulder blades have to stay engaged with the bench. Comes off the rack, you'll hear start. Come down, pause, 1001. Wait on your rack call before it goes back. And then somebody will be bringing back into the rack. And your bench like this, you come up, you're struggling, your foot goes out, we're going to take the bar away from you. Your foot comes up, we're taking the bar away from you. What else? Judge, anything else? Anything else? You're the rack, right? Yeah. So if you're coming up, and, and, and you don't show control, if you finish the lift, if you just come up and start throwing like that, lift no good. You gotta control it. Control that to start. Wait on that command. You control that to finish. Go ahead, Eric. There we go. So we're struggling through the paper, struggling, we're struggling, and start doing this. And this arm goes down. Or either arm goes down. Once the bar starts coming down, the lift is over. We'll take it away from you. So when you come up, this one's going, and they end up locking out at the same time, it's a good lift. But they have to end up locking out at the same time. Any questions about that? Everybody good with that? So smooth and clean, if something happens and it kind of does that, we're still going to be all right. But once that bar goes down on one side, the lift is over. Or either side, or both sides. Make sense? Same rules apply to the deadlift. If you load 400 pounds on the bar and miss it, you can't drop right down to 350 to try to do something you can do. So do your opening attempts, right? We're going to start lifting at 1225. You're about 20 minutes to get your head right. Let's go to work. <laughs>